Cameron and Steve here from Show Homes Online and we're at Greenwood Valley by Persimmon Homes. Just take a look around. Isn't that just really, really quiet? The house type we're going to see is this, the Chedworth. The Chedworth's a four bedroom detached. Beautiful looking detached house. Really nice brickwork, like a little porch there. Really nice. But what's more special about this development is it's right on the edge of Cannock Chase. Right on the edge of Cannock Chase. A real fantastic development of um, how many houses? 400 odd houses? 425. Yeah, 425 houses. You can't go wrong. So let's go and take a look at the Chedworth. Hello, Emma. Welcome to the Chedworth by Persimmon Homes. Really hot out there today. It's a hot July day. Right here, we are to plan. I like are we? it. Are we? Let's start in the dining room. Welcome to the Chadworth. Oh, mm. yes. Now the Chadworth, sit, it's sitting on the corner here, so you've got an additional little corner window, haven't you? Yes. And it is a four bed detached. Dimensions for the dining room: three meters two by three meters. Got two windows in here, yeah. two large windows. Yeah. Look at this little rabbits down there, look. You haven't seen them, look. See them down there? Where? Oh, mm. there. They're cute, aren't they? They're hairs. Hairs? <laughs> <laughs> Hair rabbit, they're all the same to me. It's um, got a very spacious hallway, yeah, actually. Yeah, it is. And the hallway curves around. Let me just it? have one last look in there. Look mm. at that. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you give a good pan around for people so they can yeah. see it. Right, we've got the lounge, living room, sitting room, whatever you want to call it. I mean, this house has got a lovely view from here, hasn't it? Yeah. Dimensions of the living room are just over the four metres by three metres two. It's got a little fireplace, hasn't it, look? And obviously it's dressed as a show home. Yeah. So anything extra is all additional. Yeah. So then at the rear of the house, which pretty much runs the length of the, the back, although we have a utility, kitchen, dining, family area. That's a lovely space, isn't it? So you've got French doors there out right into the back garden. You've got your lovely kitchen here. This has got a beautiful granite work surface. Glass kitchen with a dishwasher, abundance of cupboard space, fridge and freezer here then behind the door. Then did the sales lady say to us, she said that this is exactly what you get for your money with this house, don't you, as you see it? Yes. Yeah. It's got an electric hob, electric hob oven and grill, yeah. It's nicely dressed, isn't it? You've got a window there. You can look out at your garden while you're washing up. I like the work surface very much, and I do like the family area. I don't think anybody really washes up anymore or rinse the cups. Maybe, yes. Yeah. Or maybe if you've got your dishwasher's full and you've got loads. Maybe you've had yeah. a lot of people around. So this is your utility area. Let's have a look. We haven't got any dimensions for the utility, but you've got... There's a machine there. Oh, and another one there. So you've actually got space for two appliances, two separate appliances, which is always good. You've got a door there out to your rear garden and your garage. That's your boiler, tucked away. And then we've got a downstairs WC. Yeah, so it's got a little bit of the stairs just coming It's nice though, there. isn't it? Nice yeah. detail. You've actually got your RCD there behind the microwave. Okay. Nicely tiled as well, I do like that. And actually it makes a nice family area, doesn't it? And, a, you know, an extra place to sit. Because you've already got the dining room as well, you, you could have a breakfast area in there if you wanted. I mean, potentially, you could use the dining room for something else. It could be a separate lounge, mm -hmm. study, Bedroom. whatever you wanted it for, yeah? So let's take a look upstairs. Okay, so let's take a look. We're on the first floor. So, okay, so to my... Right then, we've got the bathroom first of all. Are you looking at this very wide, large yeah. landing? It's big, like a central it? hub. It is. Everything off this, this space. So this is your main family bathroom. It's got its own window. Very nice. And there's a door here. 
cupboard. It's got the Christmas tree in. Yeah. Cheers. Uh, we've got bedroom one here then, with an ensuite. Yeah, there's definitely a a theme, isn't there? Yes. And what is the theme? He's very nice. Well, I'm not going to say what the theme is. All I'm going to say is remember where we are. Oh yes. You tell me. So the question of the day is, what is the significance of the hairs? Yes. You can see down the development from here, Steve. Yeah, okay, I can see, yeah, and you can see the tower at Cannock Chase there. That's how close you are to Cannock Chase. Yeah. So this bedroom okay. has got an ensuite. Yeah, that's quite a good size one, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got ideal standard sanitary rail running throughout the house. And the dimensions for bedroom one are 3 metres 8 by 3 metres 4. No problem at all. Okay, okay so next we've got bedroom four. Dimensions are 2 metres 5 by 2 metres 3. So that's a good, good size room, it's isn't it? It's a good size double bedroom. It's also got it? a fitted wardrobe within it. Yes. Nice views from the window. Yeah. Actually, I beg your pardon, that was bedroom two. Oh, see, this, this, is Emma. Sorry. this is Emma. This is Emma. Bedroom two was three metres eight by three metres five. This is bedroom four. This is a nice, nice. Uh, oh, what a nice touch. Now, the answer, the question I just asked you about the significance of the hairs, I'm just going to, uh, within all of these handprints, there's a clue. Okay, so it's nice, it's a nice yeah. room though, isn't it? And then the last bedroom that we've got is bedroom three. bit of artificial grass on the floor yeah, there. Yeah, that's the rug. Yeah, so you've got a woodland theme here which is very apt for its location. Dimensions in here are 3 metres by 2 metres 7. Look at these little log I do like cushions. that uh, mural. Mural. The, the mural. The yeah. mural, yeah. It's right, I think, I think we will finish off in here because I've just heard some customers come into the show home downstairs okay. so uh, we'll finish off then wow i think that's a really good substantial house the absolutely old this, isn't it yep four bedrooms four good sized bedrooms actually, actually. Yeah. yeah beautiful location yep yeah and um you know we, we have a chedworth on at the moment i think um at an ulterior lo another two location yeah. um take a look at that maybe you can yeah. compare them but if you are looking at a chedworth then this is a, a really good four bedroom house for you isn't it so please let us know what you think and if you like it give us a thumbs up and if, don't forget to subscribe if you want to know any more information about this house about the location maybe the price then look in the description box below, down below. and we'll catch you on our next video